I'm I'm building a home in a compo. And I get a lot okay. of flack from that, you know, uh, some some positive, some negative. But uh, from your perspective, because you are a local Dominican, is it safe for Americans, foreigners, gringos <laughs> to uh, to live in a compo? Is it safe? Well, this or, is the or, thing. Or a, mm -hmm. or a Dominican neighborhood in general, whether it be a Dominican neighborhood or the compo. Do, would you say would you say it's safe? This is what my take on it, because it really depends on how sociable you are. You see me, I'm a person that just likes to keep to myself no matter where I live. Like I say hi when I leave to work or whatever. Same as my wife, sometimes she comes out, she says hi, she goes to the salon. I think the main point is, is that you have to see like how people are around you. Uh, since you've been traveling here, you notice that everybody says hi, even if you're a foreigner or not, and your neighbor, like you meet your neighbors the next day after moving, or even during the move and they say, hi, welcome to our neighborhood. Even if you're an English speaker, you see that they're very welcoming. And that's mm -hmm. part of the Dominican culture. Now, living in a compo, it really depends on which compo you're living in or how far off the grid it is. Because mm -hmm. if you keep to yourself, you go, you you say hi to everybody, you know, you're not you're not acting like I said entitled or whatever. You're being a nice person. You just have to always be vigilant. Even as a Dominican, I can tell you that I'm always thinking where I'm going, I'm watching out for myself. Even if a bike is coming up and my wife sometimes gets a bit annoyed by it, oh, it's just a regular, it's like you never know. Right, right. You, you always got to be on the you always you live, There's a possibility. Now, here's something that a lot of people don't know. Like, when you ask the neighbors, or even when, like, you can even ask as you're moving in, and that, that takes a little bit of skill or some, a little, uh, at least a modicum of knowing how to speak Spanish. It's like, oh, just ask them straight up, how's the crime here? And they will tell you, they will tell, oh, you know, sometimes they steal some gas tanks, sometimes. They broke into a home or they break into a banca just by that. And I'm telling you both as a cop and as someone that has lived in Santiago, in Puerto Plata, what there are some neighborhoods that crime never happens. Never. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's that someone comes from another place, like let's say Santo Domingo or Santiago to commit crime here. It's only a one time thing. Mm -hmm. So it's safe. You just have to always be vigilant. Don't get overconfident just because nothing's ever happened. That's the thing because crime exists everywhere. Everywhere, and you know, I tell I, my when when people ask me, you know, are you afraid? And the same thing that I said to you, I said, when you're moving in a community, you know, the first thing is embracing the community. You know, embracing it, um, and you know, my my community, I'm I'm there to make an impact. You know, I'm providing jobs for the locals. I'm big on education for the kids. So that is my contribution. And I tell people, you know, it's not that you have to give every day, every day. But, you know, when you are moving in uh, a, a compo or Dominican neighborhood, the idea should be what could I do to make a difference? You know, and that's how you gain the respect of the people. You know, it goes it goes a long way. You know, you you, you can't go wrong with that. So. That's that's the advice that I give for people who are looking to build in a compo or even just live amongst the Dominican people, you know? Uh, yeah. Don't be afraid to let yourself be known or show up. You're thinking it's like, oh, but since I'm a foreigner, they're probably going to think I'm an easy buck or whatever. Well, that's not the case when you're living among the others. You're, you're choosing to be part of the community. So that's not going to happen. They're going to accept you as part of the community, even if you're a little your social standing or monetary test standing is a bit higher you're not you're not showing off to them you're just you're you're showing that you're trying to be part of them so right. you relate to them i i still think though that um you still have to exercise a little bit of caution you're not gonna come in there and you're gonna wear all designer clothes and jewelry and you're going to go out decked out every day. It, you know, not that you shouldn't enjoy what you have, what you've worked for, but right. it, there's something called reading the room. Mm -hmm. And if right. you, if you go in and you read the neighborhood and you look around you and, and you see, okay, I'm at a different standard of living and there, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to go, I'm, I'm not going to go drive a, 
uh, a, a, a Benz mm-hmm. and parking here, and everybody mm-hmm. around me is driving motor conscious. It's just to me, it's just. It's just like, like I said, being aware of your surroundings, because then you do become a target. Mm-hmm. Um, because people look at you as a, as a, as a, as a, a pocketbook. That's all I can say. That is true. Um, so we live in a, a Dominican area, a, a local yeah. area. Um, La like, Union. La Union. We live yeah. in La Union. Now, mm-hmm. where I was living before, I was living in Plantation, Star Hills, uh-huh. I was behind walls with you know guards with guns and all that stuff. Uh-huh. I didn't. I did not feel comfortable there. I was. I felt secure, right? But I didn't feel. I didn't feel at home. I felt mm-hmm. like I still wasn't part of the community, right? I, and right. I actually subleased my apartment and I moved into a local area because I felt more comfortable. But that didn't come until after I had made friends. Uh-huh. Um, which his sister-in-law became. She was working yes. with. She became my good friend. And I, 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 she took me more into the local areas, and I felt more comfortable. I could communicate a little better, mm-hmm. and I've, I've been, I've been gringo quite a few times. You of know, course. So of it, course. It, it happens. You're not gonna, you're oh. not gonna escape it because no matter how much we as foreigners try to blend in, there's something about us that they know right away that we're not Dominican. They right. just know. I don't know how, but they just know. 